How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the security of both NordVPN and Surfshark. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Okay, so getting straight into the security and features of uh, starting with NordVPN. Now, Nord boasts quite a few security features, including uh, these protocols. Of course, for the most part, you want to go for the fastest protocol. Uh, security will come with OpenVPN. Nord links will offer you both security and, well, definitely superior speed. Of course, NordVPN boasts the standard 256-bit encryption with a 4096-bit DH key and a host of other basic features such as split tunneling, the kill switch, not only the conventional kill switch, but also an app kill switch, uh, which will allow you to close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN rather than disconnecting your entire connection as it is with the uh, conventional kill switch, which will, of course, disable your internet when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. If you didn't know what split tunneling is, split tunneling will let you choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. You also get four types of dedicated servers here, specialty servers, uh, Onion over VPN and peer-to-peer. -peer. And when you're looking for extra security, you definitely want to switch to Open VPN, which will give you access uh, to dedicated IP and double VPN. Most notably, that double VPN will give you uh, the ability to route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the encryption. You also have an ad blocker right here. If you go to general, DNS leak protection, custom DNS in advance, which will give you the ability to uh, change your DNS very easily. And of course, obfuscated servers will give you superior obfuscation if you're in censorship heavy countries, though for the most part, using regular servers will suffice. And when tested for leaks, NordVPN proved to uh, not give any kind of information related to my uh, real location. So no DNS or IP leaks. Uh, NordVPN, of course, has over 5,100 servers in 60 countries. Uh, it works with many devices, including gaming consoles, smart TVs, and many other devices, nearly every single modern device you can think of, really. And with regards to security, obviously, it's amongst the best in the industry. It allows you to secure up to six devices per subscription. Now, as for Surfshark security features, Surfshark also uses the AES 256-bit encryption, uh, but with the RSA 2048-bit uh, key rather than the 49 96 bit key. Now, both of which, of course, that doesn't mean that Surfshark is not secure. It's just that on paper, NordVPN is uh, a little bit more secure. In addition to perfect forward secrecy, which if you're not familiar with the term, it is when a piece of an encryption system automatically and frequently changes the keys it uses to encrypt and decrypt information, such that if the latest key is compromised, it exposes only a small portion of the user's sensitive data, which makes decrypting your sessions while you're connected to the VPN extra difficult. And even if let's say a hacker was able to decrypt one of your sessions, all they're going to get is roughly 60 minutes of information and not more. Uh, and if they wanted to unblock more sessions or hack more sessions, they will have to get access to uh, the keys that are constantly being generated. So this makes it great uh, for privacy. Of course, DNS and IP leak blocking. You also have a kill switch right here, a kill switch and whitelister, which is the same as split tunneling and an ad blocker, which makes it great for, uh, well, general ad blocking. It's not the best ad blocker, neither is a NordVPNs, but They'll, they'll, they'll do the uh, basic job, to say the least. No Borders Mode will allow you to bypass the uh, Great Firewall of China. If you're in China, it'll just increase the obfuscation. And you have a handful of protocols here, including the best performing uh, protocol. The WireGuard protocol, definitely use that at all times. However, you do have an option here that is not available in NordVPN, which will be the Shadow Socks protocol, which will help you reach banned websites if you're in censorship heavy countries. However, be wary, this will only secure your browser traffic and your non-browser traffic will not be secured at all. And again, no data leaks were detected in the DNS leak test that I made for Surfshark. Of course, 
definitely check the reviews below for more information on that. And just like NordVPN, you do get two types of specialty servers, both dedicated IP and double VPN, uh, named as a multi-hop and static IP in uh, Surfshark. So uh, yeah, they serve the same purpose as the ones in NordVPN. Multi-hop will, of course, write your connection through two servers rather than one. And static IP will give you servers with static IPs. So each one of these servers will have unique IPs and they will remain the same every time you return to them. And perhaps the most attractive feature of all Surfshark will allow users to secure an unlimited number of devices without having to use uh, a, a router because generally if you wanted to uh, secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription in a VPN you'll need to install the VPN on a router and everything connected to that router will be uh, of course secured by the VPN as a result uh, however with Surfshark they just give you the ability to secure an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription without having to use a router so you are able to share it with as many friends and family as you would like. And as of July 2020, Surfshark began to operate on a completely diskless RAM-only server network, which is a big improvement for security and privacy. Uh, what that means is that data is erased with every machine reboot and that there's no physical drive in which data is stored in. Fortunately, NordVPN are still making that transition, so they still have some work to do with regards to making the full transition from uh, hard drive servers to RAM disk based servers. Uh, Surfshark can operate, of course, on many devices, including gaming consoles and streaming services, as well as Google Chrome and Firefox extensions uh, with a very simple UI that makes it very easy to navigate. Uh, of course, both of these VPNs do have a uh, live 24 hour uh, chat support that'll help you with your refund if you wanted to get yourself a refund because, well, both of these VPNs are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee no matter which plan you decide to go for. So again, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find links to reviews down below as well as links to special deals and discounts. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel or stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Besides that, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.